If you have something on your chest other than your chin, you better get it off. All right. <clears throat> I warned you. You're a wonderful guy, Oscar. You've done everything for me. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me. You took me in here, you gave me a place to live and something to live for. <clears throat> I'll never forget you for that. You're tops for me, Oscar. If I was just supposed to have been told off, I think I may have missed it. Oh, it's coming now. You're also one of the biggest slobs in the world. I see. Completely unreliable. Is that it? Undependable. Finished. And irresponsible. Ah, I keep going, I think you're getting hot. That's it, I'm finished. Now you've just been told off, how do you like that? Good, because now I'm about to tell you off. For six months I lived alone in this apartment, all alone in eight rooms. I was dejected, despondent, and disgusted. Then you moved in, my dearest and closest friend. And after three weeks of close personal contact, I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. Do me a favor, Felix. Move into the kitchen. Live with your pots, your pans, your ladles, your meat thermometers. And when you get ready to come out, ring a bell, and I'll run into the bedroom. I'm asking you nicely, Felix. Stay out of my way. Walk on the papers, will you? The floor is wet. All right, I'm all right. You keep away from me. You no, keep no, away from me. me. Just get in one shot, just one hit. You pick head, stomach, or kidney. You're going to find yourself in one sweet lawsuit, lost. Ah, come on. There's no use of hiding, Felix. There's only eight rooms, and I know the shortcuts. This is how you, this is how you treat people like an animal? All right. You want to see how I treat my people and solve my problems? I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. I'll show you. There. That's how I solve my problems. Where are you going? Not me, you idiot! You're the one who's leaving. I want you out of here now, tonight. What are you talking about? It's all over, Felix. The whole marriage. We'll get him in a moment. <laughs> don't you understand? I don't want to live with you anymore. So why don't you pack your things, wrap it up with your saran wrap, and get out? You mean actually move out? Actually, physically, and immediately. I don't care where you go. Move into the Museum of Natural History. There you can dust around the Egyptian mummies to your heart's content. I'm a living human being. All I want is my freedom. There. Now, you're all packed. You know, I have a good mind to really leave. <laughs> Why doesn't he ever listen to me? Why doesn't he hear me? I know I'm talking. I recognize my voice. Because if you really want me to go, I'll go. Then go. I really want you to go, so go. When are you going? <laughs> when am I going? <laughs> Boy, you're in, a, you're in a bigger hurry than Francis was. Ah, take as much time as she gave you. I want you to follow your usual routine. All right. I just wanted to get the record straight. Let it be on your conscience. What? Well, let what be on my conscience? That you're throwing me out? I mean, I'm perfectly willing to stay and clear the air of our differences, but you refuse, right? Right. I am sick and tired of you clearing the air. That's the reason why I want you out. Okay, fine. As long as I heard you say the words, get out of the house, fine. But remember, <clears throat> whatever happens to me is your responsibility. Let it be on your head. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Why do you have to go and say things like that? Why can't you just be thrown out like a decent human being? Why do you have to go and say things like, let it be on your head? I don't want it on my head. All I want is you to leave. What's the matter, Oscar? You can't cope with a little guilt feeling? Oh, come on, damn you! I've been looking forward to throwing you out all day. Now you have to go and even take the pleasure out of that. Forgive me for spoiling your fun. I'm leaving now according to your wishes and desires. <laughs> You're not going anywhere until you take it back. Take what back? Let it be on your head. What the hell is that supposed to be? The curse of the cat people? Get out of my way, please. Is this how you left that night with Francis? No wonder why she wanted the entire room repainted right away. I'm going to have yours dipped in bronze. 
How could I leave if you're blocking the door? Felix, we've been friends for a long time. For the sake of that friendship, please say, Oscar, we no longer like each other. Let's break up. I'll let you know what to do about my clothes. <clears throat> Either I'll call or somebody else will. I'd like to leave now. Where will you go? Where? You're not really interested, are you? All right, Felix, you win. <laughs> you can have anything you want. We'll iron things out. Felix, don't leave me like this. Felix! Felix! Felix, come back, you lost! <sighs> All right, Oscar. Get yourself together. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Just keep saying over and over, he's gone! He did it. <laughs> he put it on my head. I don't know what it is, but it's on my head. Please let that be him. Let that be Felix, so I can just have one more chance to kill him.